That's right, and she wanted to buy a popular type of cat from a seller that she met online, but when that seller kept asking for money, she started to realize that something was wrong. A year ago, one of Sally Stunkel's cats, a Maine Coon, passed away. I miss my cat so much. So she started looking for a similar cat online, and last month, came across someone selling that particular breed on Facebook. Stunkel made a deal to buy the cat for $800. I gave her a down payment on Venmo for $400. Stunkel says the seller told her that the payment didn't work. Didn't go to the right one, as she said. So she said, well, there's another way to do this, gift cards. So there went the red lights, right? But love makes us do the stupid. She bought a gift card, but it didn't stop there. The so-called transport company she works with who said, oh, by the way, we can't transport the cat, the cat until you buy or rent a carrier for the kitty, another $800. And then I said, oh, okay, I wasn't told that. So I went ahead and did it. On top of that, they asked for another $1,500 for insurance and told her that she could be charged with abandoning a pet if she didn't pay. Stunkel says, then came the final straw. The next day, they said, oh, we have one more thing. Um, we need $2,000 for customs. Now, they were coming from Delaware. Well, at that point, you know, it's like, okay, stupid, stupid, stupid. And then I, I stopped. The Better Business Bureau says that this is one of the few scams that's also a two-for-one. The victim pays for a pet that they never get, then often pays the scammer more than once to cover misleading fees relating to transportation. The agency suggests meeting with a seller in person to inspect the pet, and if that isn't possible, do an image search to be sure that the picture is actually from the seller instead of another site. Now, Stunkel told me that she did file a police report about the incident. Thankfully, she told me that she is working with another seller in Columbia to get another cat. Reporting live in front of the Better Business Bureau in Baltimore City, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11 News.